What's up, YouTube? Here we are today, about to work on that guy. That's a 2021 Jeep of some sort. Let me flip it around and show it to you. Not exactly a Jeep follower, but I work on whatever. Let's right, see. Here it is, it's a 2021 four-door Wrangler. It's the JL Willys Limited Diesel. Barely got 1,300 miles on it. She's clean as can be. Clean as can be. And what are we gonna do today? We'll get rid of that bullshit. What, what is, what is this? We're gonna switch it out for that guy. Ace Engineering Wimp Bumper. I'll put the part number in the description. So let's get to it. Let's tear down a brand new truck. Why not? So I was gonna do a time lapse, but we think it's gonna be easier than that. Four of these 5 8 bolts right down in there. And we think this old girl is gonna pop right off. So we already took these two off. Take those two off. Let's see. four 17 millimeter bolts you'll see we had a little trouble because we didn't have a deep cycle a no, deep socket 18. 17 oh sorry 18 four 18 millimeter bolts as my copod right here so we took that bumper cover off so we can make sure there's nothing hook hanging but you got to take the bumper cover off to get to that oem lighting wire right there so we're going to remove that and then we're going to bolt that and the new lights into that new bumper there but yeah we did all of that the four 18 millimeter bolts wasn't bad we just didn't have a deep well socket, so that's life. But it's ready to go. We're gonna wire up the new one and put it together, see what it looks like. This is the winch mount plate. And the instructions say you have to grind some tabs off to make it fit. It looks like those tabs right back there. See how they just don't line up exactly right? So we're gonna get this laid out, make some marks, grind it right. out. So per the instructions, this little guy right here bumps on the bottom of that. You can cut it here, but we're gonna cut it off smooth here and smooth there. And then we're gonna grind the edge. We're gonna put a little black paint on it so it doesn't rust. And that's it. And then the, the winch mount plate will be on. And that's the finished product. We just clipped that little bitty corner out. Painted it back with some enamel so it doesn't rust. And now we're gonna put in the plate. All right, here we go. We got a couple little nuts. Factory bolts go back in. And then it threw bolts to the bumper. Oh, that sits so nice. My side. Just gonna snug them. So, bolt here, bolt there, bolts for the new bumper, through bolt through. Easy peasy. You can see where we cut it out over there so it fits. Beautiful. There it is. So I drilled out the plastic and the bezel. The super sharp bit into a block of wood keeps it from jacking around on you. Drilled them out to uh, like 5 sixteenths, I believe this kit called for. And then we're gonna put a nylock and a washer on the back. And that's it. Factory lights will be installed. We're gonna leave the wiring off till we get in the truck because we don't know how we wanna route the wire from side to side because it's like 12 feet too long. We might have to cut it and shorten it, make it look right. But we'll see. On to the next step. All right, let's go. Let's put this thing on. We got the lights bolted in. We're about to carry this heavy bitch over there and slap it in place. Three quarter inch bolts, eight of them.
Top two win it easy. One of those other two in it should run right up. different. You got to impact him or hit him with the, uh, the wiggly jiggle? We can't put the rest right home. Thank you. 
turn now. We'll see. Ain't nothing to stop it from clearing. Do I have a half inch adapter for that uh, electric? No. I'm going to order me a half inch adapter. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 100 something bucks. Well, the battery, because I got all the electric McKee one. I had one from my DeWalt for a long time. I just found that I used, I, I went to that brushless setup, and that thing is an absolute animal. That's what they said. They said you gotta be careful because it'll snap your legs off. That was very loose, by the way, very light. Alright, nothing left to do but plug the lights in. The side tube. The point of this is we're lifting this Jeep up and we want to clear a big tire over here. Like a 37, I believe he's hoping for. He won't let me talk him into 42s. But there it is, all done. And there's the finished product. A little stouter, a little meaner. And with the lift. Gonna be a hell of a lot cleaner and them big tires will clear just fine.